information about activation events is best summarized in the event grid. Looking at the event activation grid, you'll see the list of information that's available for all of the IPF in a study, including tag and description type selected SIL. That's very common information that we've talked about already. Beyond that, you have uh, the next row includes the number of valid activation events that have occurred with that particular IPF, uh, the operational time that that IPF has been in service, which allows us to calculate an event rate. Uh, and that event rate can then be compared against the expected or assumed event rate uh, that is shown in the risk analysis studies. The expected demand rate versus the actual demand rate tells us a status and gives us a status indication. Green means that the event is occurring less frequently than was assumed in the risk analysis studies. Yellow means that the event is happening more frequently than assumed in the risk analysis studies. So yellow events should be possibly reconsidered during risk analysis or even during periodic review of safety performance and audits uh, to determine whether or not more safeguarding might be appropriate because the safeguards are activating much more frequently or more frequently uh, than the risk analysis expected them to. And on the status lights, anything that is in gray indicates either that that event or that IPF is not doesn't need to be tracked in terms of its events uh, because it's uh, not being assumed to be effective in a risk analysis study or the device has not been commissioned yet.